Nothing and no one can destroy what we have. I love you. I want you to remember that. In my heart, I was always married to you. Even before I met you. Always only you. I can't. No, morning. Hey, what are you doing out here? I couldn't sleep, so I started getting ready, and, and then I heard this plane overhead, and... What? Well, I know it's impossible, <laughs> obviously, but I wanted it to be Zach. I wanted it to be this huge misunderstanding. I wanted him to finally come home. up to deal with her grief and here I am rushing up the sound of a jet engine hoping that I know it's crazy but maybe it's not crazy then what is it you're missing your friend I mean you're just you're just holding on so how long have you been up I don't know so what do you got there? It's a photo album that I found. Look at them, Jack. They were so happy. I told Kendall that she's strong, that she will survive this. And you were right. She is, and she will. Because she is her mother's daughter. was the love of her life. Her heart is not just hurt or even broken. It's shattered into a, a million pieces. Hi. Thank you guys Hi. so much for coming over early. Of course. How's Kendall? Uh, that's a good question. I have no idea where she is. I keep looking. I, uh... Well, I, uh, you know, I, you probably want to be alone, honey. No, no, that's okay. Well... All I want to say is, um... I hope you know how sorry I am about Zach. Thank you. I woke up this morning and I understood exactly what, what needed to be done. I mean, it's not like I didn't get it. I was supposed to climb off that couch, put myself together, and deal. For Zach and the boys. But I took one look at that room and... Bianca, I would be there. Yeah. What you really want to do is stick those bad boys in the ignition and floor it, you know, and drive anywhere, anywhere else. As far away from here as possible. Because if I stay, I have to say goodbye. And I can't say goodbye to Zach.
goodness. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Have a good sleep. What? Come here. No, sweetie. Daddy Zach isn't, isn't coming home today. Because you, you remember, Spike? You remember da Daddy Zach was, was in an accident and... And he got hurt, and and he's in heaven now. And, and I know, I know, it's really kind of hard to understand. We're sad about it too. But just know that that I'm here, okay? And if you ever ever want to talk about any feelings that you're having, or or if you have any more questions about it, you can come to me, okay? And I can come today, Zach. He was such a good daddy, wasn't he? I bet, I bet you Ian's probably really missing him, too, huh? You know what might make Ian feel a little better is a visit from his big brother, cheer him up a little bit. What? You like <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Right, that's a good idea. Let's go get it, okay? Go get that and get dressed, and then we'll get ready to go. Stuffed animal that, that Zach gave me wants to bring it for Ian. Have you tried calling her? Voicemail. You know, maybe I should let Jesse know what's going on. No, 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 wait a second. Listen, before you get too upset, maybe she just needs a little time, you know, before things get too intense. Yeah, Jake's right. I'm sure she's fine. Thank you. Both of you. All right, so, uh, what can we do? Yeah. Put us to work. What do we, what do you want? Okay, yeah, here, maybe uh, we should start with these. Okay, anywhere? Um, wherever you think they look good. Okay, good. And, uh, this one goes on the easel. I got it, I'll figure it out, all right? Thank you. I still can't believe this is happening. I mean, how do you make sense of something like that? You don't? No matter what else happens today, I hope you know how much Zach loves you. Still does. And I should know, because I got a ringside seat. Remember when his father had kidnapped you and stuff was holding you hostage? I was the one that helped Zach track you down again, remember? He would have moved heaven and earth to get you back. He did. Zach's father took Dixie from you. How? How did you do it? How did you survive? I don't know how to do this. Well, honey, nobody does. But it's like sometimes it's 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 so much I can't even breathe. Yeah, but you can. And you are. I mean, you were breathing when you got the news. You're still breathing. It won't always hurt like this. You know that that heaviness in your chest. That, Thing feels like it's crushing your soul. It changes. I can't tell you that. But I can tell you this. Even after you say goodbye, you can still talk to Zach. And you should. And if you listen really, really hard, he can still talk to you. Um, prayer or something? Sure, whatever works. With Dixie and me, it was uh, it was a star. You know, when she was still alive, and we were separate, we would look up in the night sky. It's one particular star, you know, phone home. And it made sense to us at the time because it, basically the night sky is the same anywhere you go. Oh. So, truth is, I still talk to Dixie every single day. She's still talking to me. She's still here. Right here. She always will be.
and Zach can be too. So you're ready to go? Whenever you want. Well, this service is going to start soon. And I have to be strong. I have to be strong for Kendall and for the boys. But I'm so scared, Jack. Talk to me. When my mother died, I was, I was devastated. I was in such a dark place. And, and now I see that same look. In Kendall's eyes, she's completely devastated. What if I lose her, Jack? I can't lose her. Come here. I hate this. I know you do, honey. I know you do. It's getting late. I want to be there before Ian wakes up. Help him get on his, his outfit for the service. Walk out. Thank you. Just thank you. Anytime. Kendall. Very sorry. Thank you. How you doing? Okay, I guess. We we'll say we go for a ride. Why? Because I think it's about time we had a talk. What are you doing? I'm just trying to figure out what to say at the service. Ever since Bianca called and asked us to speak, I'm trying to find the right words to sum, sum Zach up, you know? Express what he meant to me. But I can't. You will. How? The service is in less than an hour. When you're standing up there in front of all the people that loved him, you'll know exactly what to say. <laughs> wow, you look so handsome. I sure do. Right? Look at you. I do. Goodness, you're such a big boy. Hey, why don't you wear that white shirt that I laid out for you? I want to wear this for Daddy Zach. I don't know what I was thinking. It's absolutely perfect. Daddy Zach would be very proud of you. You know that? Come here, give me a hug. Give me a big hug. Oh. You ready? Oh, God. Kendall, thank God. Yeah, you all right? <laughs> 